Now to our series, Healthy Living, where we report on how to help you and your family make smart health choices. And tonight we have some promising news in the fight against lung cancer, the single deadliest cancer. The FDA has approved a new pill that is already shrinking tumors. And ABC's chief health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here with more on how it works and who it might help. Shoot! It's hard to believe that last February, Tina Miranda was only given weeks to live. She had stage four lung cancer. My oncologist basically said there was absolutely nothing he could do. A non-smoker who was used to helping her husband run a winery and raising two young boys, Tina found herself barely able to move from the bed to the sofa. I would beg my kids to play right in front of me so I could be around them because basically I could do hardly anything. Realizing she was dying, her husband searched the internet for hope and found it. He learned that patients who had tumors with a rare mutation in something called the ALK gene were being enrolled in a new drug study. But only three to five percent of lung cancer tumors have this rare mutation. We tested me for the ALK gene and it was like winning the lottery, I had it. The new pill, Zalcori, goes after the ALK gene and the mutation which makes the tumor cells grow out of control. The drug attaches itself to the protein made by the mutant gene and simply shuts the cell down. And when the drug works, it works quickly. Within hours, 24 hours, I started getting better. And um, today I'm off all painkillers. Um, I've got more energy than I've had in three years. And it's, it's just wonderful. And her tumors continue to shrink. 90% will have some type of response. And 60% actually have a very significant response. Each year, lung cancer affects more than 200,000 people. Even with aggressive treatment, only 1% of people with Tina's stage 4 type cancer live for five years. And while it is too soon to know how long the drug will work, for Tina, it has made life livable. I'm loving life. Uh, they're loving life. I'm glad to be back to almost normal. Rich, that is just amazing. So is this precision, almost personalized medicine, the way of the future? Uh, it, it really is. You know, I've been talking to oncologists all day. And more and more, they're going to be testing people at the start of therapy to understand what makes their tumor tick, and then prescribing drugs specifically for your type of tumor. I mean, it gives a lot of hope for us on the war on cancer. And the drug company's starting to get behind it. Okay, Rich Besser, yes, thanks very much.